Hey there everybody, Ben Goldman here, and I'm here to let you know that yesterday the NBA decided they would side with China over one of their own American managers. You know what that means. It's time for the three minute takedown. That's right, our three minute takedown today is gonna be on the NBA. So what happened was Houston Rockets general manager, Daryl Morey posted out a tweet yesterday that said, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. That's right, simple. He was just showing his support for Hong Kong, which has been out, which has been protesting a takeover by the Beijing government to try to force them under communist rule, despite their current capitalist society. Well, as simple of an issue as that you'd think that would be, the NBA turned it into a whole thing praising China. That's right. So what happened was Daryl was attacked by the CBA, the Chinese Basketball Association, which is headed up by Yao Ming, one of the Rockets' own former players and the, one of the owners of the Rockets. They went after them for actually alien, for allegedly alienating Chinese fans. Even, even one of the other team owners, a man named Tillman Ferrita, actually went against him too and rebuked him. But the worst of all, the worst of all, was by far from the NBA. The NBA released this official statement in response to Daryl's uh, stance on the Hong Kong Chinese issue. They said, we recognize that the views expressed by Houston Rockets general manager, Daryl Morey, have deeply offended many of our friends and fans in China, which is regrettable. While Daryl has made it clear that his tweet does not represent the Rockets or the NBA, the values of the league support individuals educating themselves and sharing their views on matters important to them. We have great respect. This is the best part. We have great respect for the history and culture of China, and we hope that sports and the NBA can be used as a unifying source to bridge cultural divides and bring people together. God, sounds so beautiful, doesn't it, guys? They just want to bring people together, even if it means taking away all their rights and forcing them under communist rule. Way to go, NBA. You managed to do one of the least American things an American sports league could possibly do. You curtailed to China. And you know what? It's not really just because, uh, it's not because you felt bad about offending your Chinese friends. Nope. What really happened is the Houston Rockets lost a sponsorship deal from Chinese sportswear maker Li Ning, and they also lost one of their bigger Chinese funders, a company called Shanghai Pudong Development Bank, SPD Bank, they were getting money from them. They were a big sponsor of the Rockets, thanks probably to Yao Ming's own involvement in it, and they're gone. This is what happens. This shows you how loyal these, team, these uh, organizations actually are to the United States. Sure, they'll sit there and wear red, white, and blue, play the American national anthem, salute the flag at games, but when push comes to shove, they side with China. Way to go, NBA. You've lost the respect of so many Americans today, and you know what? At the rate you're going, it's going to be hard to get it back. Between your players' stances like Steph Curry and LeBron James against the President of the United States, their strong outward statements against the President of the United States, and the fact that you won't support him at all, and now the fact that you chose China over the rights of free speech of one of your own general managers. In fact, you even defended the, what Ch you essentially defended what China's doing in Hong Kong, which despite the fact that the protests are all around violent, is a communist takeover. That's not okay. I don't know if America will ever forgive you. Anyways, thanks for tuning in to 3 Minute Takedown, guys. This has been your host, Ben Goldman. Remember, you can follow me on www.facebook.com slash bengoldmanshow, on twitter.com at realdannygold, or you can go and read all my articles on my news site at www.penmediainc.com. That's P-E-N-M-E-D-I-A-I-N-C.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Looking forward to bringing you another three-minute takedown.